What's up, Geminis? It's me, the Fly Empress, and welcome to my channel, you guys. So, I decided to do the full moon update. The full moon will be in Aquarius, July the 23rd. And if you guys don't know, Aquarius can be a rebellious sign. This is a sign that does not follow the traditional norm, all right? They don't take the path that everybody else takes. They follow their own path. They make their own way in life. They think outside the box as well. Um, for some of you guys, if you've been stuck in situations that, that's been holding you back, I feel like you're going to be letting it go. A lot of you guys are about to rediscover yourself, um, being authentic to who you really are, not trying to fit in with society. I definitely feel a switch that is happening at this time. A lot of people are actually leaving the 3D and entering into the 5D. The 5D represent the age of Aquarius, okay? And it just so happened that the full moon is going to be in Aquarius. So I definitely feel like a reset has happened um, with the collective. I feel like this is on a large scale. A lot of people is not going to go back to thinking the way they used to think as well. So we're going to pull a couple of cards for you guys and see what the energy is uh, coming in for you for this full moon. Am I shaking this camera? Oh yeah. Let me see. All right. Yeah. All right. Let's see what energy is coming in. All right. We got courage coming up in the reverse, you guys. It says, I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Okay. So I feel like it's something that you guys might need to face. Uh, we got service. I feel good when I can help others as well. And we also have self-esteem. I possess the gifts of the soul that, bene that benefit me and others. So I definitely feel like you guys, um, you are trying to find your way in life, your path. All right. A lot of you guys, you worry about what other people say. Okay, yeah, I'm getting that you worry about what other people say, what other people think about you. Um, and God is telling me that you don't need to worry about what other people think of you to be true to who you are. Okay, all right. My, my thing is, if you can't accept me for who I am, you know what I'm saying? You don't need to be in my life. I will cut you the fuck off, period. All right, you, yeah, accepting yourself. Yes, you need to accept yourself for who you are and know that you're more than what you have become. Because for a lot of you, like I said, I feel like you've been trying to fit into the crowd. All right. You've been trying to um, do things the way other people would like for you to do it. And Spirit said, no, you're different. You weird. Okay. You're you're unique. You stand out from the crowd. All right. You You possess a lot of gifts that can help elevate people to another level by th thinking outside of the box. Damn, I can't talk. But yeah, by, by thinking outside of the box, you are able to help other people. And I definitely feel like you guys, if you're not balanced, you need to get balanced, okay? I'm definitely feeling like you guys, your solar plexus and your sacral chakra, you need to work on those areas, okay? Because the I'm seeing a light, but it's very, very dim. All right. Spirit, let's see. What else is going on? Okay, we got lying. Someone is lying. Okay, this could be you or this could be somebody around you. Take it how it resonates, you guys. This message will not be for everyone. All right, so this could be a Gemini or this could be somebody that's around a Gemini. But somebody is lying. Okay, Spirit, what else is going on? And we got cleanse, clean, clean your space. So some of you guys could be dealing with people that's been lying to your face, like straight up to your face. Okay, this could be friends, this could be family, all right, this could be romantic partners. But spirit is saying cleanse these people the hell out of your life, all right, because they trying to dim your shine because they ain't got shit going on for themselves at all, okay? But I definitely feel like somebody has been lying here. Spirit, what else? 
dead. Something has come to a complete end. So some of y'all done shut these motherfuckers down. All right, you done kicked them out of your life. You done with it. All right, some of these people you would not expect to lie to you, okay, or betray you. Some of these people are friends. They done, they done sat up here and lied about you or talked about you behind your back. And you done ended this shit. All right, you cutting these people off. Some of this, this is a relationship. Somebody's been lying. All right, and we got stubborn here. Someone is very stuck in their ways. Okay, I feel a know-it-all. Somebody that they, they think they know everything. Okay, and it could be, uh, they, they could feel this way because it's the way that they was taught or something like that. But this person with this hat on his head, this person is not open to new things. This person don't think outside of the box. They let other people think for them. All right. They don't research nothing. They don't Google shit. They don't even know what Google is. They just automatically feel like they right and you wrong. Period. Okay. Sir, what else? And I definitely feel like y'all don't cut this person off here. What else, sir? What's going on? Insecure. Someone is shy or has a lot of insecurities. So, yeah, whoever this person is, I definitely feel like they weak as hell. They weak as fuck. And they mad at you because you're trying to do something outside of the box. All right? This person is insecure. They got a lot of dark issues that they need to deal with themselves. Instead of worrying about other people, they need to be focusing on themselves. Okay? It's a lot of black and white in this, these cards. Black, white, and gray. So, yeah, this person, I feel like their mind is always foggy or they always wondering or they mind flip. You know what I'm saying? It's, I'm also feeling a lot of sadness as well. Okay, and then we got romantic thoughts. Having romantic thoughts about you. So, there is somebody who is stubborn in your life that's... Um, having, you know, insecure, insecurity problems. But this person is very stubborn. But I feel like either you or this person, one of you guys are having romantic thoughts about the other person here, but someone is refusing to change their ways. Yeah, and some of you guys are just tired of this person and you're deciding to walk away from this completely. You don't put something to an end here. What else, spirit? And then, yeah, we got sexual fantasies. Someone has been having sexual fantasies about you. So this came up in the reverse here. Okay. All right. For some of you, I feel like you could have had romantic thoughts about someone, but you have like insecurity problems. You probably don't know how to come to this person. Um, but this person, this could be this person as well. They could be having... um you know, romantic thoughts about you too, but I feel like you probably ain't never acted on it, but you always was drawn to this person here. Um, mm, what else, spirit? Anything else? Okay, we got spell work. Someone has been casting spells. I definitely feel like y'all got a hater in the midst. Uh, Gemini, this is either y'all or this is somebody that you're dealing with. But it's definitely somebody that's hating on you, okay? Somebody been talking bad about you behind your back. I feel like for some of you guys, you was close to this person. You never expected this person to do this to you. And I feel like y'all done found out about it. We got guarded, very guarded and protective over heart. This came out in a reverse. For a lot of you guys, I feel like you are protected. You are divinely protected. And you're going to have people out there that's hating on you. But you no longer is putting up your guard because you don't put a straight end to this shit. Okay? This shit is dead to you. You don't walk away from it. Okay? But yeah, I feel like somebody been talking real bad. They could have tried to cast a spell on you. But your tongue is a very powerful tool. So if this person is speaking ill about you, they are trying to cast a spell on you. But I feel like for a lot of you guys, you this don't even phase you. You kind of feel it, but you knock that shit out. Like, okay, you just don't know how powerful I am. You don't. You need to get your, your shit straight. And then we got hiding truth. You are hiding from your true self. And I also feel like whoever this person is, they are hiding their true self from you as well. 
because this person they might smile in your face but this person is very sneaky as fuck okay they talking about you behind your back this person is not to be trusted either all right this person also could have betrayed you in the winter months they could have did some shit that they know they weren't supposed to be doing for some of them i do feel like they try they betrayed you they could have slept with your boyfriend or anything behind your back i'm, I'm picking that up off of some people y'all got friends out here that done slept with your boyfriend all right and you thought these people you was cool with these people but they was fake as fuck all right and for some of you you've been telling this person your business and they've been going behind your back sleeping with your man and telling them everything that's going on all right we got muse yeah i feel like yeah somebody is um they're, they're thinking about someone here. They're thinking about someone here a lot. And in the way that they, they're not thinking about this person in a good light, though. I feel like they stuck on this person. Like, they probably always watch, you know, them on social media. Or if you got a YouTube page, this person watches you a lot. Okay, but with the new view in the reverse, this person, I feel like they're hating on your success. For some of you guys, you are in the spotlight. And this person, is like they envy you because you are doing something different than them. Yeah, I'm picking that up too. Yeah, you guys are out here manifesting. All right? you are Your desires are within reach. A lot of y'all are about to be very, very successful. And y'all got some haters out here that know that, okay? Some of these could have been your own damn friends. Yeah. For real. But I definitely feel like y'all done found out the truth about this person or these people here. We're just going to pull a couple of cards and then we're going to end it. I'm trying to keep these videos short, y'all. trying. Ooh. What else here? All right. Yeah, so we got the King of Cups coming out in the reverse. All right, we got the King of Cups coming out here in the reverse, you guys, with the Six of Pentacles in uh, in the upright. So I definitely feel like someone has walked out of this person's life, okay? This could be you, or this could be somebody that you're dealing with. This could be Cross Watcher, or this could be Gemini. But there has been um, a masculine energy that has walked out of this person's life. I feel like you could have gave this person more uh, than they gave you or you invested more into the, this relationship than this person did. But I definitely feel like this person is in balance and this person has walked out of your life. Okay, for some of you, this is a friend. This friend was very manipulative, all right? They was taking information from you and giving it to other people, okay? And for some of you guys, I definitely feel like you just don't walk away from this person because they're not balanced. I feel like they they are emotionally unstable. Yes, and I'm also seeing psych issues. Someone here has some psych issues, you guys. But with the Ace of Swords being here, and it, oh shit, not the Ace of Swords, the Page of Swords. With the Ace of Swords beside it, this person is watching you. All right, they're watching you. They they looking at you, observing you, like studying you, analyzing you. Like this person is really fixated on you, okay? And this person know you know the truth about them. And I feel like they stuck. They, they, they don't know how to come to you. They don't know how to speak to you. They stuck, but they know you know the truth about them now, okay? We got the Two of Cups coming out here. So... I definitely feel like there was a choice or this this person there was a choice that was made okay there was a choice that was made here someone made a decision about a queen of wands here in the reverse with the ten of swords here in the reverse this person don't want to end things with you I feel like they still want to be cool with you and I'm definitely picking up on a feminine energy here. Also, you guys, this person also want to know. They they trying to see if you know about them sleeping with 
your boyfriend, okay, or somebody that you was dealing with from the past, okay? This person is trying to see, do you know about this, okay? Because I feel like whoever this is, they, they was a straight slut. All right, this person get around. They don't mind opening their legs to nobody, okay? For some of you, this is a friend. But this person don't want things to end with you, okay? Or they didn't want something here to end. But yeah, they want to know. They want to know. All right, so if any of y'all is suspicious about your friends out there, yeah, ten of wands. This is too much. Y'all going to be walking away from this friendship, from this relationship, whatever this is, okay? I'm definitely picking up a heavy friendship here. What else, spirit? Okay, we got the Knight of Wands showing up, and then we got the Judgment in a reverse. Yeah, I definitely feel like this person has been trying to deny this. Okay, this person still trying to come around you and, like, speak to you or something, but they still denying this. They're not telling you the truth. They're not being honest. This person is not taking responsibility for what they did. They're continuing to lie. Okay, but I feel like for a lot of you guys, you know this already. So let's pull a tr uh, trinket and see what Sierra wants you guys to know. Divine Holy Spirit, show me what I need to see for the Geminis. What's coming for the Geminis with the full moon and the Aquarius spirit? Show me what I need to see. Okay. Okay, so we got a turtle. <laughs> Y'all got y'all got a turtle, all right? I feel like there could be things that's moving kind of slow in your life. Okay. I'm saying uh slow and I'm seeing slow and steady wins the race. So if it's something that you're trying to do, spirit is telling you to take your time that it's gonna come into fruition when it's time, okay? And then we got we got a marijuana leave, okay. So some of y'all been smoking. Some of y'all going to be smoking. Okay. Yeah, I finna be rolling you a fatty. Okay. <laughs> All right. I see some big ones out here too. So, and then also Spirit is saying that by smoking so much, it's making you guys slow. All right. <laughs> Maybe some of y'all need to slow down with smoking. Okay. So you can kind of clear your mind. Smoking is meant for meditation. You ain't just supposed to be smoking just to be smoking. That's to help you meditate and ease your mind, okay? So, Spirit is telling y'all to calm down on all that MJ. <laughs> but, yes, you guys, um, I love this message. If you liked it, please like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the notification bell. And until we see each other later, I love y'all so much. Peace.